Welcome back to Ebru Africa this morning. I am Cherotich Kene. It is the 2nd of May 2014. I hope you're fine wherever you are and thank you for staying tuned to Ebru Africa this morning. Now let's take a look at the tweets making way this morning. We have this being the 10 most trending tweets in Kenya. Labor Day celebrations, Opinion Court, Uhuru Park, Churchill Row, Chelsea, Lisbon, Saudi Seoul, Valencia, South Africa and Game Over. So let's begin with matters East Africa and in particular Kenya where uh, joining the rest of the globe yesterday we had Kenyans going to Uhuru Park to celebrate the annual May 1st Labor Day celebrations where uh, a day set aside for labor organizations to be recognized and celebrated across the globe. But here in Kenya we had a lot of issues taking part. We have the KOTU which is the center, uh, Central Organization of Trade Unions and PUSETU, the Public Servants um, um, let me get that for you, trade unions of Kenya, where they, they have a bit of rivalry when it comes to uh, claiming what percentage they have in uh, the traders' union across the Kenyan region, each saying that they have adequate numbers of people to be represented as the main organ, uh, the main trading, trade union organ. So yesterday we had the cabinet secretary for labor, that is Kazungu Kambi, being in the middle of this particular crossfire, but the men in uniform, that is the GSU, the the General Service Unit were there to contain and to ensure that no violence broke out where we had the Koto taking their celebrations to Uhuru Park where the Pusetu movement were, were, um, were blocked from entering anywhere near around the Uhuru Park region just to sway uh, a lot of uh, violence and, and push away all the violence and may, might have just come if these two particular side supporters came together. So indeed, these are the pictures coming out. This is the Pusetu movement. Um, and they were being blocked from entering. Here we have Pusetu regrouping after denied access to Uhuru Park. There they are. They were denied access to that. And indeed, these are the men in uniform who uh, took to ensuring that Kenyans are safe yesterday. And also because of the rampant insecurity in the country, Chances are not being taken for, uh, for, for granted. We are having the police, you know, be, uh, be uh, becoming uh, on high alert just to ensure that they uh, take care of the Kenyan citizens. So here we are. So we have here little King says the government backs a trolley in anything he does. So even if we Kenyans are tired, tried everything, we have to say no in that matter. Labor Day celebrations. And also one thing that should come out of this and it should be highlighted is uh, when it came to the issue of money, increasing money. So we have like, for example, every other year we have an increase in labor wages. This time there was no uh, labor wage increase when it came to the particular speech by uh, the president's representative. That is a uh, cabinet secretary, Kazungu Kambi, who said nothing about wage increase, something that is not going down with Kenyans as well. Still in the theme of Kenya, let's move to something else that is making way across our country. Now, the issue of the anglo leasing scandal that has cost the taxpayer over 30 million euros is still making uh, stories and headlines across Kenya. Now, the, 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 the situation at hand is the government is going to be expected, if they do not pay this particular amount that uh, is a tune of 25 billion Kenyan shillings, then indeed they'll be taken to court where we might be likely as a taxpayer to cough more money money into the kitty to be able to pay the anglo leasing um a scandal perpetrators but this particular uh, this particular company has no face others say it's a ghost company so people are questioning and that is Kenyans are questioning whether or not we should pay 25 billion to people who we have no idea who they are so what the public is asking the government is first show us and give us names of the people who are responsible for the Anglo leasing before we actually give them this money to give a name to the face of that particular scandal so this is what was being talked at at a local television station station so indeed what people are questioning is um what are people doing we have here if clowns like atwali are left in charge of labor in kenya then may day celebrations lose meaning so indeed here we have here opinion quote something does not add up actually the speed at which this money is being demanded makes one smell a rat now opinion quote if we are to pay the anglo leasing monsters the sum 
the same uh, the same names must roll. We must apprehend those involved because this whole scandal is all about Kenya changing her passport system, and indeed they never got any products for this particular uh, activity. So that is the Anglo leasing scandal. Uh, brought born out of the Anglo leasing finance company that was given the tender for this particular uh, activity. So we move on to something that I should highlight to you that indeed should make you have a very, very happy weekend. Now, we had a writer from Botswana ask Africans across the continent what they would how they would rate their country in the form of a student in high school and a lot of people gave up their comments which are hilarious the hashtag is african nations in high school let me show you one in regards to kenya now here is this particular now if kenya was a student in high school now kenya will be that child that runs 25 laps just to warm up for physical educations just to give you the progress kenya has on the tracks saying that this is quite an interesting uh interesting topic very hilarious comments coming away uh from this particular hashtag once again the hashtag to follow is african nations in high school indeed that is quite a very nice uh a picture and caption there but finally let's wind up with ebru africa this morning now ebru africa this morning is a show to be when you want to know all that entitles your life in terms of music uh politics entertainment and culture we give it to you first join our facebook page or you'll see our previous shows that we have done here on ebru africa this morning and indeed we will give you all that you need to know what entitles here in kenya africa and the globe over for now that is it i'll see you monday bye bye